Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it's time for me to bring you yet another episode or another video, sorry, uh, going through some FIFA 16 career mode top tips. Now today I'm bringing you the best poachers in FIFA 16 career mode. Now obviously given it's career mode yet again as I always say in these videos, they've got to be a fairly young player, you know, they've got to be below the age of 24. Otherwise, you're not going to get any growth out of them. And obviously, when it comes to poachers, those are the players that just nick you a goal on the goal line. You know, it's taken a load of deflections from a corner and it falls to that guy who just tucks the ball into the back of the net. So these guys have got good finishing and they've got good attack position as well. Now, if you go on to enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the likes button. If we could smash like 100 likes on this tips video, as always, that would be massively appreciated. Nevertheless, the first of the poachers today is Paolo Dybala of Juventus who's proved to be a bit of a poacher in real life as well. The guy's ripping it up in Syria, going along with a really good physical page, like 91 agility, 89 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, 85 balance. And he's got 90 ball control, 89 dribbling, but crucially, 87 finishing and 85 attack position as well. So he's going to be in the area where the ball is going to drop to him and he's going to have the finishing capabilities to actually put it in the back of the net. Two-star weak foot, four-star skill moves from Argentina, playing for Juventus in Syria, and he is 21 years of age. Next up, we've got another young player. This is Anthony Martial of Manchester United. 79 overall, not the greatest of attack position and finishing for now, but obviously when he reaches his potential, that will be exponentially higher than it is now, potentially even into the 90s. Uh, so he, he will have an amazing attack position and finishing. He's also got 84 dribbling, uh, good speed, agility, jumping, and reactions too. Can play as a striker or a left mid, preferably as a striker, because. but Louis van Gaal just decides he's a winger for some reason because he's a terrible manager. Uh, 19 years of age, though, high attacking work rate, four-star week for two, uh, three-star skill moves. Uh, Anthony Martial there of Manchester United, someone who's going to grow into perhaps one of the best poachers that you'll see on career mode. Next up after that, though, is Paco Alcacer of Valencia, who will probably give him a good run for his money. 88 potential on this guy, and 80 overall at the start of the game. Already has... 87 attack position and 84 finishing this along with 86 reactions and 81 ball control as well as 83 shot power and 85 volleys four star weak foot three star skill moves 21 years of age playing for valencia in the la liga uh, he has got high attacking work rate he's from spain can only play as a striker but he is a very very clinical striker after that though we've had three players so far that you probably expect to be in this video next up a Lithuanian kid from the Danish League. This is Lukas Spalvis, 72 overall. You've probably never heard of him in your life before, but he's got 76 finishing and 77 attack position, uh, which are amongst two of his best three attributes, uh, with 79 shot power as well. Now, he's 20 years of age with 81 potential. If both his finishing and his ball control grow by nine, he's going to have 83 ball control, I think, and 80 something or other finishing as well, like 85 finishing. So he's going to be very good once we, when he's actually hit his potential. Not quite now, but if you've not got much of a budget, he's certainly someone to go for. And definitely make sure you train him as well on his finishing and attack position too, just to make sure that that really hits home. After that though, the more unknown option, now we've got Harry Kane of Tottenham, someone else who um, ripped it up last season in the in the Premier League, then it came to this season and people were like, he's just going to be a one-season wonder, and now he's proven that he is the ultimate poacher in the Barclays Premier League. 21 years of age, three-star week for three-star skill, moves something like 87 potential now on this game, as well as high attacking and defensive work rate, 84 stamina, 84 reactions, and good finishing and attack position as well. Next up, though, we've got someone who's actually got the poacher speciality. This is Mauro Icardi, the Inter Milan striker, 79 overall, 90 jumping, which is his best attribute, but behind that, 88 attack position and 87 finishing. He's also got 80 volleys, 79 heading accuracy, and some decent speed, strength, and reactions as well. Playing for Inter Milan in the Italian League, another Argentinian in this list, and he's not even the last Argentinian in the video either. There's Clearly a lot of poachers coming out of Argentina at the moment. Obviously add in Carlos Tevez, who's quite good at that job as well. And they're on to a winner. Medium attacking work rate, but low defensive. Four-star weak foot and two-star skill moves. Mauro Icardi there with something like 85 potential. After that, though, we've got the Santos striker. This is Gabriel, or Gabigol, as Charney Sports refers to him. And this guy is 
really a very good uh, poacher. 79 attack position, 78 finishing. He's only 76 overall at the start of the game, but I think he's got about 86 potential. So once those attributes have grown by 10, just assuming that both his attack position and his finishing grow by at least 9, he's going to have really, really good attack position, like 88 attack position and like 87 finishing. 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, high attacking work rate, which also helps on that one. He's only 18 years of age at the start of the game and 76 overall. That guy is going to be a god, hopefully in real life, but also on this game as well. After that, though, we've got the sporting Gijon striker, Antonio Sanabria, who is on loan from Roma in the Italian league. So you can't pick him up in the first transfer window or in the first season at all, actually. Um, but you will be able to do so after that. 81 agility, 81 ball control, good dribbling, and, uh, of course, finishing and attack position as well. His finishing is already 80. He's 19 years of age. Four-star weak foot, three-star skill move, 75 overall at the start of the game, and uh, something like 87 potential on that guy. So he's going to be a good poacher amongst a lot of other things. After that, we've got the second Juve striker of this video. It's Paolo Dybala's strike partner, Alvaro Morata. Uh, 81 overall at the start of the game, 85 attack position and 84 finishing. Makes him somewhat of a poacher. I think he's got about 83 or 84 potential as well, so there's, there's even more scope for that to grow too. Uh, good speed as well for such a tall player as well as decent reaction, strength, stamina, uh, and then dribbling and uh, ball control as well. 80 curve too, decent penalties and shot power. He's pretty good at a lot of things, basically. He's 22 years of age from Spain, though, playing in the Italian league for Juve. Four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, and also high attacking work rate. And finally, we've got Luciano Vieto. Another Argentinian. I think that completes the hat-trick of Argentinian players now in this video. Of course, a striker like the previous nine before him. And like the previous nine before him, he's got very good finishing and attack position as well. 84 and 85 respectively. 85 ball control and 86 dribbling going along with that. As well as 83 volleys, 82 curve. 87 balance and 82 reactions. Wait, this guy, very good at quite a lot of things. 79 overall at the start of the game, 21 years of age, high attacking work rate, three star weak foot and four star skill moves. In general, he seems like a very fun player to use because of that good curve, that good volleys. His long shots and shot power aren't too bad as well, but along with that, he's got four-star skill moves as well, and his attack position and finishing will mean he'll score a lot of simple goals as well as some absolute stunners as well. He plays for Atletico Madrid in the Liga BBVA, but nevertheless, that pretty much brings an end to the players in this video. Ten poachers that you guys can pick up in Korea mode for varying prices, uh, Spalvis certainly being the lowest price, and someone like Dybala or Martial probably being being the most expensive. If you've got a lot of money, go out and get them because those guys are going to be fantastic both in real life and on this game in future seasons as well. If you have enjoyed that video though, feel free to hit the likes button, uh, subscribe if you are new around here as well and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much and don't forget to tell me who some of your favourite poachers are on this game and in career mode in general as well. Drop that in the comment section below if you have any. Don't forget also to tell me what tips videos you would like to see in the future. I would really like to hear that as well. Always love to hear some ideas from you guys to make sure that I'm uploading what you guys would like to see. But nevertheless, it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. No.